All right, hey everybody, it has, it has been a while. Uh, I think it's been about three and a half to four months since I last practiced uh, to let my finger heal up. I think at this point, it's as healed as it's gonna get. Uh, do I have full range of mo mobility or motion? Man, it's like 99% there, I think. Uh, the typical sensitivity is, is for the most part gone. Uh, if I overwork it, it aches, but I think I'm 49 at this point, all my fingers and joints ache if I overwork it. Um, I will kind of ease into it, starting with half hour practices and so forth. I do have like these, uh, these heating mitts that you zap in the microwave. I may rest my uh my own mitts in those mitts to warm them up and get them ready for practice especially during the winter months now um i i did get a re really really tempting offer from tom neckville uh he he offered to uh, let me rent one of his banjos uh and for how again super tempting to do that my fear is and he probably knows this, is if I rented that and I got that thing in my hands for a week, I would not be returning it. I would purchase that thing flat out. And that, that's dangerous because I do not know if my finger is going, how it's going to do. Uh, the best way to approach this is scientifically, which is to remove as many variables as possible. So the first, first variable I want to try to remove is the hand position itself. So I'll be playing in a more neutral hand position with my thumb wrapped more around the neck rather than back on the spine of the neck. So that should help relieve the angle of my, my left hand, my fretting hand, to be in a more neutral position. Uh, what Tom's banjo would introduce is another variable of basically the, actually two, the width of the nut, since the uh, the good time here has a pretty narrow nut and, and Tom's uh, banjos have a wider nut. Also, they have a lower action, so it takes less pressure to fret the string. Uh, I will, I know I've been adding way too much pressure uh, when I first started, so I will be working on just being super gentle, particularly with my index finger. So we'll see how that goes. As far as progress, <laughs> huge step back, right? Do I know any songs anymore? I, I don't even know. This... Obviously my banjo is way out of tune. <laughs> So I'm going to be starting from with uh, Eli Gilbert's 30 Days of Banjo from day one, or maybe I'll advance today. I'll go as, as, as I see fit, but I'm taking a huge leap back, starting over, uh, learning how to play nice and relaxed, and see how that goes. Now I've made the decision, I think, at this point, that if this fails, if, if I try all this, and my, my finger still stiffens up to the point that I can hardly bend it, it's, it's going to be the end of the banjo for me. And I will move on to something like the dobro or lap steel. I'm still tossing up between those two. I'm edging towards lap steel because I like the sound of blues on a lap steel more so than I like the sound of blue grass on a dobro or country on a dobro. So uh, we'll, we'll see what happens, but hopefully I don't even need to make that decision. Hopefully this hand position solves all my problem. And in 2000 hours, I will be getting that neck fill banjo and we'll see. Fingers crossed everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I've got some practicing to do. Take it easy, bye.